Baby Doll Riley. Oh, does she want a shot at a world title? And this is her next step tonight. She goes up against Tina Speakman and Blinky. If you're looking at the tail of the tape to find a difference, you're not going to find it. You're really not, Phil. The height, the weight, and the reach is almost identical. This fight tonight should be a fight of attrition. Who wants it the most? Well, the fighters are ready. Let's go to the center of the ring now. And Danny Valdivia. From the Pavilion Showroom of the Lady Luck Casino Hotel in Lula, Mississippi, Event Entertainment Pay-Per-View prevents a female fistic frenzy, an all-female boxing extravaganza. And this is our first bout of the evening. Bantam weights eight rounds. Our referee, Fred Steinwinder III. In the blue corner to my right, wearing black and gold trunks, with a professional record of two wins, three losses, one win by knockout, at 118 pounds, from Atlanta, Georgia, fighting out of the Victory Gym in Atlanta, Tina, the Black Russian Speakman. And across the ring in the red corner, wearing blue trunks, her record, three wins, one loss, at an even 120 pounds, from St. Louis, Missouri, fighting out of the Los Angeles Boxing Club, Ranked number two in the world, Bridget Baby Doll Riley. Fred Steinwinder will uh, bring both Speakman and Riley to the center of the ring. I want you to listen to my commands at all times. Protect at all times. Touch for us, come out fight. So we're set to go. Bridget Riley out of St. Louis, fighting out of the L.A. Boxing Club, set to take on the pride and joy of Atlanta, Georgia, Tina Speakman. Bridget with a victory uh, in Biloxi back on August 2nd. Looking to run her mark to 4-1 and one and uh, force a showdown possibly in January or February right here on pay-per-view against Ivan Trevino. Both fighters not taking much time to get to know each other, Phil. You see both fighters come right to the center of the ring and just begin to wail punches right one to the other. Pretty much the trademark of women's boxing. Speakman throwing a lot of wide punches, what I call east and west punches. And those are the kind of punches you have to be careful for because they are unorthodox, they are wild. And we're just really going to have to uh, make sure it's keep your hands high. Bridget Riley in the blue. Her record, three wins and a loss. Her right hand again by Ryder. She came out at the beginning of the first round, landed that right hand, and now she came back right back with it. These bantamweights are scheduled for eight. Big left hand by Speakman. Stop, break it up, break it up. Let's go, step back. Bridget Riley. Starting to put her hands together, Phil. She popped the jab, then landed through the right hand and came back with the hook. That's the way they teach it to you in the gym. Bridget with her hands much higher than Speakman. Good overhand left again lands on Speakman's right cheek. Speakman with uh, two wins as a professional up against three losses. Good, solid left hand. One of the one, body, one of the head by Bridget. You notice Bridget works both the body and the head, Phil. That's the end of round one of these weather, these uh, phantom weights. I'm so glad to be coming your way tonight from the Lady Luck Hotel and Casino in Lula, Mississippi. We're just about an hour's drive south of uh, Memphis along the banks of the Mississippi River as you look at Tina Speakman. And her corner man, uh, Keith Kemp, there in the corner with her. And there you see Gabriel Gonzalez and Lily Rodriguez in the corner of Bridget Riley. Good first round, Phil. Both fighters came out to the center of the ring and began to just establish themselves. Bridget towards the end of the round really finding uh, the ability to put her punches together, which is uh, exactly what a fighter wants to be able to do is punch and punches. Now visiting with Bridget yesterday and again this morning, she uh, always seems to be confident. She's a very friendly 
elderly person just a couple of hours before the fight. She has time to say hello and exchange pleasantries with everybody who crosses her path. Yeah, that, that's what she's known for. She, she just had a right hand left hook, and that looked like that hurt. Without a question, Tina Speakman's legs begin to wobble, and she is still hurt, Bill. She is still wobbly. Fred Steinwinder the third, looking closely in her eyes. She says she's okay. I'm not sure the referee is going to buy it. He says, uh, okay, let's let it go again here. We're early in the second round. And she eats her right hand. And Steinwinder's going to call this one over, I believe. Well, he's got a standing eight count. Well, he's seen he it get off, Phil. And rightfully so. She didn't see that right hand left hook coming again. And that's the combination that Bridget Riley caught the Tina Speakman with right at the end of the first round. She seemed to. Tina was not slipping that, and she came right back with that same series of punches that proved to be devastating. Oh, a big, impressive win for Bridget Riley. And that is exactly what Bridget Riley wanted on her quest to become the Bantamweight champion of the world, Phil. It was a big KO, and that's exactly what she delivered tonight. Now watch this here. There's the uppercut, follows it with a double, a triple. And that's about all that Fred Steinwinder had to, uh, had to see. He parted the fighters. At that point, she said she was all right, but just look at her legs. Exactly, Phil. She, she backs away, and that's where the Steinwinder, the referee, sends Bridget to the neutral corner. There's the right hand that began it, right over the top. Bridget comes right back with the hook, right behind the right hand, right on the chin of Tina Speakman. Uh -uh. A right-left-right right combination, and that's spelled lights out for Tina Speakman here Bridget. in the second round. You know, and that is something right there that Lily Rodriguez and Gabriel Gonzalez have been working on with Bridget Riley. One, number one, they want to work on her defense. Number two, they want her to put her punches in bunches and sit down on her punches more so those punches can be that much more explosive and even harder. Well, an impressive win for Bridget Riley. And that's something she desperately needed. She needed to win and win big. You know, leading into the fight uh, with Bonnie, Now let's go now to Pedro Fernandez. He's got our winner. We're with the winner, Baby Doll Riley, without question, Bridget. Great TKO. Miss Speakman, though, she came to fight tonight, and she was tough. Yeah, her, you know, by the looks of her body, she looked in shape. You know, I, I treat everybody like they're King Kong. We train hard. I want to thank my trainers, Lily Rodriguez and Gabriel Gonzalez. And uh, I want to thank the Lord with all my heart. There's where my strength comes from. Okay. We want to fight with Yvonne Trevino, don't we? We want to fight bad. Yvonne Trevino, personally, let's dance. You hold a win over her before, don't you? Yeah, I beat her before. I'm going to beat her again, this time a lot more. <laughs> she is a world champion. We're talking about Yvonne Trevino. So that would be that, that's what you want to do next, Yvonne. No more tune-ups. Go, Yvonne, next. You know, whatever my manager says and whatever, you know, our team will get together, we'll sit down, whatever they say, because uh, I'm in good hands. But I want Yvonne Trevino or Mia St. John. You can run, but you can't hide. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Baby Doll Riley is speaking her piece here in Lula, Mississippi. Let's go back to ringside and Phil Stone. Oh, I want to thank Rick Coolis, Event Entertainment, IFB. It's great. We're doing it. We're making it happen. Right, now let's go back to Phil Stone. <laughs> All right, Baby Doll. Thank you, Pedro. Bridget Baby Doll Riley wins it. Let's go to Danny Valdivia and find out officially when the end came. Referee Fred Steinwinder, the third stops the bout. The winner by a technical knockout in 31 seconds of the second round, Bridget Baby Doll Riley. And how about a nice hand for Tina Speakman? Now, Bridget Riley, uh, Blinky, we saw Bridget back in May in Reseda. We saw her again in August in Biloxi, and uh, this is something she really needed for her confidence. She needed to come out, show strong very quickly, and boy, did she do it. No question, Phil. In Biloxi, she went eight. She won unanimous, but I know that her people wanted her to sit down more on her punches and show that she does got that knockout power. And tonight, I think that's an indication that she's beginning to work on that.